All right, well, here we go. We've got the Cast King Spartacus II bait caster. This is about a uh, $45 reel right now on Amazon. And uh, I'm gonna get it lined up and we're actually going to uh, have a little fun with it against about another $45 reel in the Abu Garcia Black Max. Both reels have been around for a little while. I've gotta say that the Abu Garcia Black Max has been around quite a bit longer. But we're gonna take about a $45 reel here and this $40, $5 reel here. And we're gonna go have some fun. Let's get them spooled up. <laughs> All right, let's get this video started. And I want to start by explaining exactly my goals and my direction for making this video. And actually, I look to do this, quite a few more videos like this in the future and get a little bit more in depth and help you guys make decisions when it comes to purchasing what reels are going to be great for you. So in this dollar for dollar comparison, we're going to be comparing the Abu Garcia Black Max, like we said, against the Spartacus 2 bait casting reel. Now, this is going to be a component comparison more than like, how does it cast and how does it catch fish? And oh, it's, it's just so great because both reels out of the box felt great. Both of them cast fantastic. Took them out on my favorite pond and got skunked. But we all know that lure weight, line weight, rod action, wind, there's so many variables to really dictate how a reel can perform when casting. So as long as you pretty much get a lot of your reels out there dialed in, a big portion of them are going to cast very well, and that is the case for these two reels. But what this video is for is a dollar-for-dollar dollar comparison on what you actually get component-wise. Frame construction, drag, bearing count, handles, the looks, the options. So that's what we're going to do. Is we're going to put these reels side-by-side side after we get them spooled up, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys all the details. Now, I picked the Abu Garcia up. Uh, from one of my local retailers here in my hometown, good old Wally World. And these guys, this Abu Garcia Black Max is available in tons of different retailers across the country, not to mention also available online, e-commerce, whether it's Amazon, Abu Garcia's website, and whatnot. Now, for the Cast King reels, you can easily get them off tons of different uh, online retailers, uh, but uh, you can go to castking.com, amazon.com uh, is primarily where I went for this reel, and of course, you can get a lot of great prices. And you can see right there for the Striker Green, right around that $45 price range, which we're trying to stay in. So add it to cart, and here we go. All right, so we've got the Spartacus 2. Of course, this is from Cast King. And then, of course, the Abu Garcia Black Max. Okay, they've been around a while, tried and true. So let's take a look. Apples for apples and dollar for dollar. Okay, so let's start with the brakes. So let's go ahead and pop this open. It wasn't too bad. Okay, not horrible to get the uh, door open to look at the brakes, not horrible at all. Let's look at the Garcia. Now, of course, I will be honest with you, this took me forever, and I actually had to watch a YouTube video to figure out how to open this guy and realize that this is a locking pin right here. That threw me off, so okay. So, slide that over. That rotates up. And then of course, there's your door. So, can I say that either of them wins awards for buttery smooth door action? No, I can't say they have the but most buttery smooth door action, either of them, but they're not bad, either of them. Once you learn how they open, they're not bad. They're just not amazingly just like Oh, that was beautiful compared to some other reels that I've used in the past. Okay, so on the casking, you see there is a five button magnetic braking system. And then on the Abu Garcia, you see a five button magnetic braking system. So basically, they're pretty comparable in this situation from opening to access the uh, spool and see the, the magnets pretty easy on the, uh, on the casking. And once I learned how to do it, it was fairly easy on the Abu Garcia. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about line capacity and spool size. So here is the Cast King, and here is the Abu Garcia. Side by side, they both look very similar, okay? Very, very similar, but you can see that the Abu Garcia is a little bit larger. 
Now, does that mean you're going to be able to get a lot more line on this one because it's larger, or is it just the diameter of it bigger? Well, actually, the Abu Garcia does allow for more line, but not much. So you're looking on the Abu Garcia, 150 yards of 10-pound mono is what you can squeeze onto your spool on the Abu Garcia. Now, the casking is right there with them, but it's 140 yards of 10 pound mono, so you're close. You're really close, but the larger spool size does boast a larger capacity in the Abu Garcia. Okay, now here's one big topic that a lot of people love, and that is going to be the bearing counters. Let's see if I can find anything here. Swedish engineered, but made in China. Okay, so here we go. You have five bearings, okay? You see right there where it says five bearings? So this is a four plus one stainless steel ball bearing in the Abu Garcia, okay? Not horrible, not bad at all. You don't have to have a billion bearings in a reel for it to perform very well. It has to be engineered pretty well. So they're rocking a five bearing or a four plus one stainless steel ball bearing. But we do know that the more bearings, the smoother the operation can be for sure. So the casking right here is rocking a seven plus one. You can find this on your box, in your notes, on the website, on amazon.com. Uh, you can find the four plus one ball bearing on the package as well as on their website for Abu Garcia. Seven plus one stainless uh, steel ball bearings on the Spartacus 2 from Casting. Again, like I said, that information is available. You can find that easily on the website as well as your packaging, whether it's Amazon or Casking. And then of course you can see it's right there on the reel. So Casking takes the cake for more bearings in this reel, seven plus one, as opposed to four plus one. Eight bearings, five bearings. All right, so now let's talk about, let's talk about gear ratios, okay? So gear ratios are a big thing right here, okay? So a lot of people will pick a reel depending on gear ratios. You know, well, I want this gear ratio for this tactic, this gear ratio for this technique. Well, other people buy it because they want, well, I want a gear ratio that is more well-rounded and I can do a lot more. So depends on which one you are. The Abu Garcia on this gear ratio here is a six, four to one gear ratio, okay? Let's see, where is it listed on the reel? Okay, right here. As you can see, six, four to one, right there on the handle. That is your gear ratio on the Abu Garcia. Now, when it comes to your Spartacus, we're going for the gear ratio, and you can see it is notated right there, seven, two to one gear ratio. So it's a faster gear ratio. Now, the cool thing about the different gear ratios is the six, four to one, obviously, is gonna be a slower gear ratio. This is gonna be a faster gear ratio. This seven, two to one is becoming, or at least the seven speed gear ratio is becoming a very common and more common go-to gear ratio in the industry now more than ever. Six, four to one was a very good gear ratio years ago, but we're starting to see the seven, two to one become kind of that go-to gear ratio in a lot of reels. And casking has the seven, two to one, but maybe you want the six, four to one in the Abu Garcia. That's up to you. Okay, so let's talk about drag. We've hooked up a fish. We know our gear ratio is six, four to one. We know we're seven, two to one. We've got five button magnets on both reels. They're, they're, they're fairly similar. Um, let's talk about drag. You hook into that fish. You want to get it to the boat. Drag can be very important. So the Abu Garcia on the package says that it is an 18 pound drag. But then you go to the website and it says it's a 15 pound drag. So that's hard. That's, that is per Abu Garcia's website, 15 pound drag. And then of course on their package, like I said, is 18 pound drag. Now to be noted, that's also a synthetic drag. Synthetic what? That, that just says synthetic material. That's, that's all it says. Now you go to the cast king and you have 17.6 pounds of drag. So let's say the Abu is 18 pounds of drag. Well, that 17.6 in the, in the casking is right there. It's right there in the same realm. They are su severely comparable, very, very close in drag. But let's now say 
the Abu is 15 pounds of drag because we don't know which one's the actual poundage. Well, then the casking actually has more drag and a fair amount, like two, two to three pounds more easily of drag than the Abu if it is 15 pounds. But maybe it's 18, we don't know. It's hard to tell, it's to be determined because of bad clerical work. So 17.6 pounds of drag and it's a triple disc carbon fiber drag. That is notated, that is listed, easy to find and kind of common on a lot of your casking reels. Synthetic material, whatever that means. All right, since we're still talking about drag, listen. Okay, so when you adjust your drag, you can kind of hear it and you can feel it. That may be a big deal. Some people may really like that. Some may not care. And if you're the kind that doesn't care, well then maybe you don't care that the Abu doesn't make any noise at all and has no detent click to it. Me personally, I like the detent click because when you're pulling drag, you're having drag stresses, that little detent can help keep your adjustment in place more to where there's no detent, it's just on a pressure thing. Well, as you pull, as you pull, as you pull, it's better chance of that drag slowly slipping backwards and becoming looser and you find yourself constantly adjusting. So is it that big of a deal? Does that happen all the time? Not necessarily, but I do feel that that little detent, that little click, there's that little pause there and paw that'll hold it there. So it'll kind of hold your adjustment or in theory should hold your adjustment way better than a non-detent or non-audible drag. All right, let's take a look at line guides, okay? You have just your standard, normal line guide on the Abu Garcia. It's kind of hard to see, but it's a standard, industry, normal, just round line guide, kind of has like this, the sides to it. Now, the casking though, I don't know if you can see that very well, but there is, there's a taper to the inside. It's a low friction tapered vortex, or like a funnel, okay? See, it's a lot larger. So when you're pulling line off that worm gear, and you're coming into that, ton, that that tapered edge, your line will funnel into that taper a lot better as opposed to just you know, an eyelet that has a straight chute and you come across that chute and it can start the resistance, or at least that's the argument, right at the spool. <laughs> so, any fancy frills about the line guide on the Abu Garcia? No, just a standard line guide that's been around forever. Well, the Casking has the tapered line guide to help reduce friction. All right, so let's talk about construction on the bodies, on the frames themselves, okay? Both frames are a graphite frame, okay? Neither of them are aluminum. They're both of graphite construction. The Abu Garcia lists as just a normal graphite construction. The Casking lists as a graphite or nylon infused graphite system, which is supposed to help some of the rigidity, the life of it. It's supposed to be a better quality graphite all right and of course since we're talking about frame let's talk about frame size we already know that they're a graphite frame but let's take a look and see this guy is obviously larger but this one looks like it might be a little longer from front to rear it's hard to tell uh, but when you look at it you can tell that this is a low profile reel and this is a low profile reel but when you hold them in your hand and you really check them out and look at them the Abu Garcia is a bigger reel. It is heavier, it is bigger. They just list it as low profile. And it is, it's not a bad reel by any means. The Cast King is listed as a 39 millimeter palm perfect reel. And I have big hands, so both of these reels fit into my hands just fine. I would have to say that this reel is more comfortable. I do, this is my preference. I do like the feel of the Cast King, but I can't say that I dislike the feel of the Abu. This one just feels smaller, more sleek, more comfortable in my hand, but this one is not uncomfortable. So low profile, but the Casking is even more low profile in a 39 millimeter palm perfect size. Abu does not give you their size reel in any millimeters. They just say it's, it's low profile, but you can visibly see that the Abu Garcia is a larger reel. All right, let's take a look and see exactly where these guys come in, okay? So, we're gonna bring out the old handy dandy, beat up old dirty scale here. Let's go ahead and turn it on and zero it out, okay? So, we're gonna hit zero, make sure it's zero. 
Now the Abu Garcia is claiming to be 7.4 ounces. Now granted, this is unloaded. This is a loaded reel. I've got some fluorocarbon on here. We're gonna see what it weighs. Now granted, it'll probably come in heavier than what they say at 7.4 ounces. And it actually weighs 7.95, okay? Or, well, now it's, yeah, it's bouncing right between 7.95 and eight ounces. So with a little bit of the line that's on it, that's understandable. I would have to say, yeah, it's right around that 7.4 that they boast unloaded, not on the spool. Okay, let's take that off. Zero our scale. So again, paperwork says this is a 7.4 ounce reel. We pretty much confirmed that with just a little bit of a difference because of the weight of the line that's on here. Now let's go with the casking. Casking is claiming it is a six ounce reel. And of course, with the line that we see on here, it's coming in at 6.4 ounces. So yeah, they're definitely accurate on their weight or very close according to uh, the website. Uh, now granted the cast king coming in a lot lighter at six ounces unloaded versus the 7.4. So smaller profile, smaller frame, palm perfect, lighter. This one is a larger spool, so you can get 10 more yards of line in 10 pound test line, but it is heavier and it is a larger reel. All right, let's start talking about the, the looks of the reel, okay? We know that they look small, they're compact, they feel good, but let's look at like the pizzazz, the, the fanciness of these reels, okay? So the Abu Garcia is obviously a black with red trim reel, and it is offered only in black, and that's it. And then recently they added this red handle, which I gotta admit is, it's kind of a plain Jane handle, and then these rubberized, well, they're actually like a PVC knob here, okay? Big knob, feels comfortable, it's not horrible, it's not bad at all. Uh, the casking, of course, this is a new color. This is the striker green, but it's actually offered in five colors. So you have five different colors in the Spartacus to choose from, and I'll have them listed all right here. But five different color options, as opposed to just the one black with red trim color option, okay? A little bit of a fancy handle, okay? A little bit, I'd have to say it's fancier than the Abu, for sure. And then of course the EVA Comfort Grips with the green trim. So both handles are comfortable. Both are definitely handle. This one's gonna be EVA, where this is a PVC, like plastic style handle. Uh, now, do the, either of them come with a spare spool? No, neither of them do. Now, are they both available in right hand and left hand? Yes, they absolutely both are. So you have a, Nice aluminum, a little bit fancier handle. And then you have a nice aluminum, but not so fancy red handle. So maybe the handles make it or break it for you. Maybe they don't. Maybe colors are a big option for you. Maybe you care, maybe you don't. Only one black and red color here, five different color options in the Spartacus. Now, the MSRP on these reels for the Abu Garcia, the manufacturer suggested retail price is $59.95. And the casking manufacturer, manufacturer suggested retail price is $49.95, okay? Now, I paid $49.91 at Wally World for the special or the deal, the sale price, whatever they had going on. Out the door with tax was $49.91. Now with casking, they were also running a promotion. I would have to say it wasn't as great as the deal that I got for the MSRP values uh, as the ABU, but I did get this one at $48.99 with tax, okay? So both of them coming in within a dollar of each other uh, out the door price. Abu Garcia, MSRP's higher than the uh, Cast King, but when it came down to actual purchases, walking out the door, I was able to spend under $50 on each reel. And you know what I mean? I had about a dollar left over between the two. I mean, there was really about a dollar separating them. So for dollar for dollar, they are very comparable, but when it comes down to it, there are some differences on the internals and the options. So where do you want to spend your dollar? That's always up to you. Are you an Abu Garcia person? Do you want to give the casking a try? Or do you want to give the Abu a try? But those are some of the internals for dollar for dollar.